Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Joshin. Today we're going to be demonstrating fat transfer. And we have a very lean, in-shape patient who makes this a very challenging situation for me. So we've sort of pinched around on him and we should all be so lucky to have so little body fat. The only place that I can really find fat on our patient today is going to be on his love handle area. Um, most everyone else I've ever worked on has lots of areas we can harvest from. So first thing we're going to do is we wipe them down with some hemp cleanse. Go ahead and stand up for me, please. Okay, so there's a little bit of love handle here. So this is the area that we're going to try to harvest right here. And lots of good you can work on here. The female attachments. Yeah, you do have a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some access points to harvest the fat. So I'm just going to mark one access point for them. So what we do is we numb up the area. Ouch, on the stick. Okay. We'll do a little numbing here. Perfect. Yes. And we want it at three. Okay. Now we're just infusing the area with a water solution. In the water solution we have lidocaine, which numbs up the area, and then it also has a little bit of epinephrine to constrict blood vessels. Okay, so now we're going to start the harvesting process. Okay, with this we just use a syringe with a little pressure. And this is a little bit of a challenge because our patient had liposuction. And so there's not as much fat, and the quality of fat won't be quite as good because he's so lean. I mean, a super athlete, you don't have a great quality of fat, typically. So we're getting a little bit of fat here. So now we use the syringe because we want to harvest the fat under low pressure. I've been doing this procedure for probably about 15 or 20 years now, so I'm comfortable using these. Some people may use um, higher tech devices, but this is still a very common way to harvest the fat. Okay, so this is, you can see that great amount of fat loss right here. So this is a little bit of concentrate. Now we're going to do the injections. We make a small puncture, and actually two small punctures for our access points. There'll be a small amount of bleeding. The nice thing is this won't leave any scar, and it won't be noticeable at all. We use a blunt tip injector. So this leads to minimal bruising.
That's all there is to it. Now we'll do two more injections. And um, initially this is going to look very swollen because we have the lidocaine which took up a lot of volume. And in four weeks we'll do the second injection and then in another four weeks we'll do the third injection. It should provide a really nice result for you. Well I'll tell you one thing that I feel nothing. Perfect. Okay, perfect. We'll see you back in a week to make sure that everything is fine. Make sure you take your antibiotics and there's really no aftercare instructions whatsoever. You just live your life. We can try to get off that blue marker too before you go. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, Javier. Thank you very much.